everyone and welcome back to Design and Craft with the CWD and uh, this is Chadi. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. Uh, and I hope, you know, I can give you um, some wonderful tutorials. So uh, anyway, so you can stay. <laughs> uh, also, uh, thank you so much for all you uh, sweet, sweet uh, um comments uh i know like i said i don't have the time sometimes to go in there and make and, you know and write you all back but uh unless there's something as specific as you need to know then you know and i'll try to do that but uh uh anyway i do read the comments and i really do appreciate them believe me anyway today we're going to do uh, a rose uh i love this rose this i got it from uh i think it's my indulgence or something like that i will leave the um you know the description of their channel uh, below uh, i promise <laughs> uh i think last time i i said that i, did, I forgot about it and uh, which it was about the um, the cushing on the uh, easter egg uh and her name i don't think is natasha but it's a uh, passion for crafts is her channel okay and she is wonderful anyway um this flower i needed a flower for a project that i'm making and I thought, wait, well, hey, I might as well just go ahead and go for it and make it a tutorial. Uh, like I said, this is a rose. It's one of my favorite ones. I'm going to do it a little bit different than I normally do because I'm actually going to, in. Uh, you can make it out any fabric you want, by the way, you, out of ribbon, whatever. But this one I'm going to do it out of lace and I uh, happen to have a piece of this and a couple of pieces of this. So I'm going to go from there. Um... You need a rectangle, and, the, and, and I'm not going to tell you how long, because it all depends uh, how big of your flower or, or how narrow. Okay, this one, for instance, it is 12 inches by, by three and a half, and I think they're about the same, so give or take. Uh, you don't have to have that much. It can be smaller, I mean, you know, narrower, but I want to go ahead and try to do this one. Now, to make this particular flower... You're going to need it an angle. So, let me just bring it over here. And you can come from zero corner to, I'm going to say about an inch in. Give or take, okay? And on the other corner, okay, we want it the opposite. We want one inch from here to zero here, okay? One inch from here like so and basically if you put them together they're going to be the same size but it's just the angle and that's what we need to make this particularly um you know rose uh i got my thread uh my needle threaded and has a knot and all that and i double threaded okay now how you do this is really simple because you have an angle uh this is how it, it makes the rose you're going to start on the corner and even though it doesn't feel like it matches you just keep on matching the edges okay so I'm gonna put this two together and anchor it and I like it to do it uh, well this one this process you pretty much have to do it you know with a needle but uh, even putting it together so now I'm gonna keep on going do not worry what this looks like just match the edges okay uh, and this is one of the things, if you have something like this kind of fabric, or make it wider so you can get the idea, the feel of it before you do something really narrow, okay? And then I'm going to do my overcast, you know, on my whip stitch, which is uh, basically coming from the back into the front and uh, like this, from the back to the front, the back to the front, okay, like this. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to keep my edges together. Like so. Okay. I just thought, uh, I have done this for, I think Michelle Paplin tried to make this one one time, and I don't, I don't remember if she, you know, was happy with it or not, but anyway, I just thought it's one of my favorite roses, and I make it a lot uh, because it just looks yummy i don't know okay see how this do is doing that's okay just keep them matching your edges just keep them together your edges whether it gives or not the fabric you still want your edges together Hold on. 
So let me put it over here. Let's see. And just keeping it up a little bit at a time. You can do it. It's okay. If you if you want to do a running stitch, hey, whatever works for you is fine. Okay. And I'm gonna be doing this. See. Okay, and right here, and the more uh, gathering, whatever, the better you go into, uh, more of the squirrel is going to be, okay? In other words, the wider the angle on, instead of one inch, you could do it two inches, you know, whatever, it makes it more, uh, more of a gathering look. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up to the end, okay? So I'm just gonna continue on this side only. Because that way, see? Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Okay, like this. But this piece in here that I done all the way to the end, what I'm going to do, and I don't know if she does this or not, uh, that's my way of doing stuff. But uh, see, by doing that, you don't have a raw edge and then you can just turn it and it makes a pretty, it will make a pretty rose. And then as you do that, you just want to go ahead and stitch it. You can high glue it. I don't particularly like the high gluing on this particular rose, but uh, you know, if that's what you like, that's fine too. You know, you have to do what you feel good with it. And you just kind of, uh, I'll just do a little, you know, whip stitch as I go along. On this one, like I say, I'm doing a little bit of a different than normally I have. I do one. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to turn this one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm hoarse this morning again. Allergies are added, added. Okay. And see, this end I did not finish, but I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to come back in here and do this here real quick. Whoops. Oops, sorry. Bringing it in. See, I'm bringing it in. Okay, and then stitch it. It's really easy, and this is something that I like because if you watch TV, okay, now this is just the center of it, okay? But I'm going to put some more on this one. So um, you can also tighten it up a little bit more. I could have gone around it a little bit more. But uh, let's see, maybe I can do that a little bit this way. Just to make your center a little closer, see? You can do that. And I may do that myself. There we go, see? It makes a pretty little center right now. And then I'll just finish the other ones and we're gonna put it on together. Now, like I said, this one I'm doing it different because I'm working on pieces of lace. Because I wanna do this the center, but this one I wanna put it around it. And I got two. Because I didn't have, you know, I didn't have a, a longer piece that I wanted it, so uh, I cut it in half and did my thing. Okay, see this one, I already angle it. Can you tell here and here? But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little more angle on this one, just because I think I like that better. Like I said, you just have to work with whatever you have. Okay, and this one, let's see. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one, see? Alrighty, okay. And on this here, a little bit more. Whatever works for you. Okay. But I was gonna show you this, if you don't have enough fabric, you can do this. See, again, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my points together. And really, if you want to, you can go ahead and start here. I don't see why not. Let's do it, why not? And that way you don't have to go back and do it, you know. 
but make sure you before you do it that the uh, the corners here are matching okay now we're gonna do again the the whip stitch and when I get to the corner bring my needle out and then I'm gonna start matching okay and here we go It's kind of slipping out of my fingers. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, just keep on, keep on at it. Just take your time. It's like I said, it's not hard. It's just, uh, just to, uh, you know, get it in there again. Make sure you, you edges. See, you get more of this ruffle when you cut the angle a little bit bigger. And. You know, I'll just, you know, I'll do a little bit, stop a little bit, make sure I get it back in there. This is not a very sharp needle. I just couldn't find my my box of needles, so. Okay, and I'm gonna keep on going in here. And see how it does when you do that? It's just really cool. But that's what you want, because that's what it makes you petals, actually. I don't see how these people figure these things out, but I am so glad that they do and I don't have to. <laughs> I just watch their channel and uh, then and try to do it and, uh, and hopefully I get it and then pass it on to you ladies. <laughs> but do watch her channel. She does some of the amazing flowers and of course some of them do take a little more time than others. It's just what it is in it. Okay, I'm gonna come here again. Oops. Okay, and this time, excuse me, let me go ahead and cut this little piece a little bit because this time what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to finish here, but then I'm going to go straight to the other one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this little bit in here because that's okay. I just want to finish right there, okay? See? But then I'm going to come back to this one. And then we're gonna start and do the same thing. Come here. Okay, start it at the corner here. Okay, make sure, okay, there we go. And then just keep on at it. And here's Neko. Neko had a little bit of a, little, he was a little bit sick this, uh, I was gone this weekend. And right before I left, I noticed that he was straining to go to the, you know, uh, when he tried to urinate. And uh, so we had to uh, get him some emergency medicine because it's such a, people don't realize that it's so dangerous for them to, to uh, they get plugged up. It's like calcium stuff build up and they cannot urinate. And of course, they will back it back up to the system and literally it just gets, poison to their body and they die. So I had one, uh, a cat, uh, that my very, very first cat that it, that happened to, and I was still, my husband was still in college at the time. And, uh, the, uh, the vet that we took him to was so sweet. And, you know, uh, we couldn't save the cat, unfortunately, but he told me, uh, what to look for, what to watch for. And they had saved me so many animals, you know, especially the cats. For some reason, that's the one that had the most problems. So we had to get him, we would try to get him in, in a cage, and it was very stressful for him because he did not want to. So that was, <laughs> it was kind of a, a stress weekend. Anyway, see, I'm still going in here. But he's doing fine, so we're good. He's still taking medicine. And she's gonna be all right. The things you do for your babies in it. These are my babies. I call them my four-legged babies. <laughs> okay, we're continuing it. See, so it doesn't matter if you have if you don't have enough of one piece of fabric, just put them together like this. See, it's all right. It will make it work. And that's what is so beautiful about this. It will make it work. And Again, kind of stop, make sure that this is, you know, the edges are match. I mean, the yeah, the edges are matching. 
and you always want it to be sure that you have that angle, okay? If, if, you, if you fold it and it's just, just straight on, it's not right. You, you, you know you, you've done something wrong. So, see, like this is like this, but as I turn it and I take my time, I leave this in here and I turn it and see, like it, now it's going to be okay. I hope this is, uh, you know, uh, it helps you. It's like I said, it's a beautiful rose. It's a very simple rose to make. Very simple. And it's just beautiful. No, 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 no. You don't, I guess he thinks it's tasty too. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to come here and I'm going to bring these two together like this. And if it's a little bit off, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to make it work. Okay, and here we go. And of course you wanna gather it, you know, uh, pretty good. Alrighty, I'm gonna put some more thread on my, uh, I do a double knot and that's all you need to do really. Okay, so this is what it looks like, but see how it is? Of course, if you had a long one, you would have it all together, but since I didn't, I had to piece it, but that's going to be all right. Let me get some thread on this, and we will uh, finish this off. You know, it's always nice. Like I said, I, I, I needed a, a rose, and I thought, well, let's just go for it, right? And this is how we're going to get some flowers done. It's how... It's crazy because sometimes you got a flower, uh, you need a flower and you don't have it. So this way you do. Let me show you real quick. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, oh, here. This is one that I did and it's made out of ribbon. It's a two-tone ribbon and I think it turned out beautiful. Now this is glue. I don't care that much for the glue, but it's still a pretty rose. Okay. So this is going to be the lace. And uh, I don't know, I may even put it in the center. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see. And here we go. Alrighty. So now what I want to do is just start one, uh, one edge. And because it's kind of wrinkled like this, you have to find the right. Make sure you do it on the edge, okay? Because that is what I want. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna go this, well, I guess we can go, let's see. Let's see, let's see. And then you just turn it. Okay. And when you get done, you got a beautiful, oops, I'm gonna get it. Okay, you got a beautiful rose, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and sew it up. Like I said, it would have been better if I had it all one length, but I don't worry about it. We we'll always make it work. That makes it look more shabby, in it? <laughs> so, I'm working on some, uh, I'm working on a kit of the month. Uh, I haven't decided if it's the one I'm going to do. The main reason is because, you know, um, actually, accidentally, <laughs> and I mean accidentally, um, May and I somehow, we're doing the, uh, a similar um, project. Uh, I'm one of those that I rather have, let her have it than me putting it on up there yet, okay? So I have to talk to her first, and if it's okay with her, we'll do it. But if not, I'll find something else, and this one can go on, you know, in a later date. It's not, it's not a problem. Um, for me, it isn't. You know, I'm not one of those that wants to, uh, you know, uh, hurt anybody's feelings. And I know May will not get her feelings hurt, okay? But I still want to talk to her first. Um, but, uh, like I said, uh, I am working on uh, the kit of the month. If y'all want, I need y'all to, like I said, I'm going to have different prices. Uh, I think I might have mentioned that on my other one, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to mention it again. Uh, once I put my videos up there, ladies and gents, uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I, I don't look at them. So, unless, unless specifically, I really need to know something about it or whatever. But uh, like I said, we're gonna have different prices kits for the kit of the month. The only difference is this. Uh oh, I guess I better double my thread. And the only difference is this. We'll have a twenty-five to thirty-dollar kit. 
for those that you know that you need a you know something a little more reasonable and then uh, and then of course way up there'll be a month and I may have something really extravagant but let me tell you the starring of things is not gonna come that close together because it takes me a long time to get them done but you know what I mean it, it you know it'd be months like that uh, but basically they're gonna run anywhere from maybe 50 60 dollars around there you know those on the 20 to 30 you do have to and well 10 too of course uh, you do have to pay freight uh, because I cannot you know I cannot do it but anything from 50 up you do not have to pay freight. I'll work it out that you will not have to pay freight, okay? And you still have everything you need for you, you know, uh, it will be very substantial and everything, you, you kit. So I just wanna let, put it out there right now. So uh, of those that you're interested in any kind of the different prices of uh, kits, please, please uh, just uh, email us at the store and uh, put your name on it so that we can, uh, you know, as soon as they're, before they're out, uh, we can actually, we will let you know before they're out, okay? And that way we'll be first online before we're out. The only thing I ask is that please, 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 that um, uh, if you do want it, answer right away one way or the other, okay? Because we usually have uh, a lot of people that want some and then we're stuck because we're waiting for everybody to let us know one way or the other, okay? Uh, so I'm trying to accommodate everybody as much as I can. Uh, I'm having some awesome uh, kits that uh, even though the project will be out, I'm not sure if the kit will be ready then, but they're going to be awesome. Uh, so I hope, you, you know, uh, like I said, it's going to be really neat. Uh, some of them, like I said, they're going to be over 100. And really when you see them, you understand why. Uh, but normally, like I say, I'm going to try to stay in the $50, $60 range, okay, for the uh, kit of the month. Okay. Now, see how pretty that looks already? It's kind of, I put it in here so you can kind of get to see it a little bit. This is why I put this dark color in it. Um, whoops. And like I say, I'm just whipping it in there, see? There we go. And just keep on going. Also, uh, I really, 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 really appreciate it if you let me know uh, what kind of, you know, what you want me to see that is not up there. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of ideas, but then I think, well, I don't know, you know. So if you let me know, give me a, a message me uh, on, on uh, Facebook, um, Charlie Dollar, you know. And that way I would know uh, what you're looking for, uh, what it, you need to know, what whatever. Uh, sometimes a little brain, at least mine anyway, it gets a little, it goes on vacation. And, uh, you know, my projects that I think about, they're all big and, you know, uh, awesome, but I don't want to do that all the time. It's, it takes a lot of my, it takes a lot of videos, okay? Uh, so, uh, those, I want to keep them for special occasions. But, uh, you know, like I said, I, I'll tackle anything. Believe me, done it before and I will do it again. Okay, let's see how this is turned out. And that turns out fabulous. Look at that, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? It's the lighting. Let's see if I can turn this down a little bit, if you can see it, probably not. Maybe a little better. Anyway, it's really pretty. So, uh, so there you go. You could do it out of the same fabric because this one I think was a little bit wider than this, but that's okay. It's all right. So this is, uh, and see the back is finished. It's nice. And it'll be ready to be put on in whatever project I'm doing, right? So anyway, the projects of the month will try to come out. Uh, uh, if you already, if you want, uh, like I said, uh, I know I asked that and you probably said, 
Hello, I'm already there. <laughs> for those that are not, okay. Uh, do, like I say, email us um, for the project of the month. You already know the prices. Just email what kind of price you're interested in. Like I said, we got a $10 little minis. Uh, 20 or 25 to 30 will be the next step. And all those two would have to be, for, uh, you have to pay freight. And then the other one will be 50 and up, okay? And those you do not pay freight. Alrighty, well this is it. And I think now I'm gonna do is put a little pearl in there. Let me see what I can find. Because I got all kinds of stuff. Oh, let's see. Okay. Now let's see what I got here that'd be pretty. I just need a pearl really. Yeah, I think this is kind of pretty really. Let's see what this one is going to do. Let me see. Oh yeah. I'm comparing to my project. I'm sorry I cannot show it to you right now. I am going to be doing the, the uh, tutorial here in a little bit. And like I said, I'm going to make sure that, um, you know, it's, it's going to be what, it's going to be okay. Now we got it. Let's see if you can see it. Oops. The light is so bad. I don't know what it does then. Let's see. Anyway, here you go. I think it's so now beautiful. It's a it's a beautiful rose. And um, and I wish I could show it to bit better, but let me see. Hold on. Crazy thing in it. Let's see here. Ah, oh, we go now. I think I think I show it that better in it. In the back, it's just beautiful. See. So, uh, if you have made it all one long strip of the same fabric, of course it will be more. But I wanted, like I said, I did want this one, and I wanted that one. So I'm really happy with both of them. And it's just a beautiful, fluffy little rose, and I just love it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, stay well, stay crafty, and God bless you.